everyone! So I have had a lot of requests from people to do a tour of my lighting and camera setup, sort of the more technical side of YouTube, kind of behind the scenes, how I film, um, what equipment I use and everything. And I really want to just uh, help you guys if you are starting out with videos or whatever. Um, obviously I didn't start out with everything that I'm going to show you, I kind of built it up as I went along. All the equipment that I'm going to show you, I have purchased everything myself, so this is definitely not sponsored by any kind of lighting company or whatever. So if you are interested in any of the things, I'm going to have links to them below um, so that you can know exactly what the model is or whatever, so that if you want to get something, you know, you can see what what I bought or you can maybe buy something similar. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to see a full updated like makeup collection video because I'm not going to be showing you my makeup in this. This is really just sort of the technical side. But if you do want to see that, leave that in a request to like comment below and I can do that in a separate video for you guys. So let me just give you a little sweep of my studios. And this is now, I am looking from the window back into the room, okay? So this is like the door where you come in and I have on the side here, sorry, ignore that, that's my breakfast smoothie. I know it looks really gross, but it's really good. So I've got my most of my makeup in these two Alex drawers and then I've got some Halloween and some crafty stuff for sort of more extreme looks over there. Then I've got the boxes, these are all new sort of PR send out. Um, and some things that I still have to put away. Over here, um, chest that I actually inherited from my grandparents and I'm not quite sure where to put it in my apartment yet. I don't know if it's gonna stay there. This thing is from Ikea. I used to have this in the back corner of my videos and I'll, I moved that, I'll explain why in a second. Um, and then over here I usually have my camera charging station or like my battery charging station. I used to use um, uh, batteries like this for my SLR, like the camera that I film with, but I don't need those anymore. I'll explain that why in a second. And then over here is where I actually do the filming. There's like a chest of drawers back there. This is, I think, also from Ikea. I forget the name of this model, but um, this also contains some makeup and some stuff in the drawers. And then I would sit there basically on a little stool that I have there. So this is the camera that I use for filming all my videos now. Well, all my makeup tutorials, let's put it that way. It's the EOS 600D. I believe in North America it is called the T. 3i. It's an older model. There have been some newer updated models after this, especially one that has an autofocus feature. This one does not have an autofocus feature, but I don't mind so much because I just focus it myself. So um, this is the one that I use. What I like about this camera, articulated screen. So it's one of those flip out screens. So the back, um, it goes like that and then you can flip it out. So when I'm filming, you see here I am. <laughs> Ooh like the inception of videos. So when I'm sitting in front of it, I can flip out the monitor and I can obviously see what I'm doing if I'm in frame, if I'm in focus. And then on the top of the camera, I have an external mic because it does have a sound like feature in this camera, like an automated sound, like the sound quality is not very good on this SLR. So it is recommended that you get an external mic for it. So I have the Rode VideoMic Pro and this just snaps onto the top here. Hot shoe, I think it's called a hot shoe. So it goes on there and then there's a cable that plugs into the side of the camera. So this camera is equipped with a lot of different functions. And here, okay, well this is annoying, but yeah, it goes in there and then I have that on um, while I'm recording right now. It's off when I have it on, it's like that. As for lighting, um, I've had to really work out what lighting works best and the way that I have it right now, I'm really happy with it. So initially I just had these two lamps. Now these are softbox lamps. This is the one that I started with initially. These are by Valimex. These special light bulbs, you have to get them at a special store. Like, I mean, I couldn't find them here. These different, these initially had different bulbs in them. They were much smaller and not as strong. It had a 50 watt, um, light bulb in it. The light bulb, it's like, it's, um, it's an energy saving bulb. So it actually emits much more light. This is one of those like sheets. You put it over the lamp like this. It hooks onto the side and then it kind of just diffuses the light. That makes it a bit softer if you have it right on your face. But 
what I did is that light really wasn't strong enough so I bought these two new light bulbs this is 125 watt so it's more than double the strength of what I had before so you can see that that one is on and what I do is I actually point them against the back wall here so this is my background it's just right against the wall it's a white wall and that reflects the light back to me it kind of bounces off the wall and it makes the whole thing look very light and bright. Bouncing against a white wall it works like a diffuser, so that's why I took the, the front things off. When you're filming, you don't actually see the lights, you just see the light that is kind of making everything look brighter. Back there, as you can see, there's this little globe of light, and that's just an ambient light. It just kind of adds a nice ambience to the picture. Um, you don't actually see that because I placed it right behind myself. Um, when I'm filming it just kind of lights up the back a little bit more pleasantly and that is actually a light from Ikea So this is what I see when I'm actually filming right now. This is off. It's a 75 watt ring light Which means it's um, it's actually more because 75 watt in energy saving means actually much stronger And the other thing that I like is that it's dimmable so you can turn it on It's probably gonna blind you guys now like that looks really bright. This is at full strength right now everything looks black and then you can actually dim it. You see, I don't know if you, I don't know if that really shows up in the camera. That dimmer function is really good because when you're filming, sometimes it's really, really bright on your face. So that being able to dim it is very handy. So I'm sitting here, and then this is like on my, this is coming right up my face here, and then um, I'm filming through there. So how I control my camera is with this remote control. Um, this is really, really important. This also helps you to autofocus um, because, or just to focus, because when you're sitting here, um, it's kind of hard to like go back around the camera and then focus. You click this button. Okay, then it took a picture basically, and then you can go ahead and record it. But now everything would be in focus. So I highly recommend that if you do film with an SLR camera that you do get one of these remote controls to um, focus yourself. And the other thing that I recently got, um, or that I just bought a few days ago that I'm really, really happy that I finally got it, is an AC adapter. Um, this is what I was talking about with the batteries. So this is actually now, um, an AC adapter it goes into the camera base and then it's just a cable that you can plug into um, a power bar rather than having to constantly replace my batteries sometimes that would really annoy me like the battery would run out while I'm filming then I'd have to go and get up and replace the battery as for the actual tripod um, I have a Manfrotto and I'm really really happy with this tripod it's extremely sturdy like it really doesn't move and I think if you are gonna buy a tripod don't buy the cheapest tripod that you can find because they're just crap. Invest a little bit more in a good tripod because it does make a difference. Um, your camera won't be shaking. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one by Manfrotto. It's like really good quality and it's really sturdy. As for the lenses that I use, this is the one that I use primarily for my um, tutorials. It's the Canon 50 milliliter, milliliter, millimeter lens. It's the 1 to 1 1.8. Um, this one is really inexpensive. I think it costs about $80, which as for lenses, like that's one of the least expensive lenses that you can buy. It's extremely sharp and um, takes really good photos. It makes a nice bouquet in the back. Because it's 50 millimeters, it's pretty close, like it's a very close crop, so um, if you want to get like a big frame into it, you have to move the camera really, really far back. So that's when I use this lens. Now this is just the kit lens. I think that came with the camera. This is the EFS 17 to 85 millimeters. I'm not like totally happy with this lens. I'm actually thinking of buying an additional lens for more of a wide angle shot. Uh, lenses are extremely expensive if you want to get a good lens like they can they start at about $500 upwards um, for the good lenses, so um, Yeah, I'm still debating on whether I really need it or not and then for vlogging I tend to use this one now. It's the Canon Legria mini what I like about this is that it has um, a pop-up screen like that so when you're filming yourself so you see when I'm filming myself, hello, um, I can actually see myself here in the viewfinder as well. So it's really easy to handle and it also has a wide angle function, which you just click on, I think here, and then you see it's like much more wide angle. So obviously this is like a lot of stuff and it, you know, it's 
probably like for most people it's overkill I would say if you are just starting out um, and you want to get one light I would totally recommend getting a ring light because I got those soft boxes to start and I had them in front of me kind of here and they really didn't work very well to be honest um, I much prefer the ring light it just gives a much nicer sort of flattering look um, and it really lights up your face especially for makeup tutorials of course then you would need some kind of a tripod or whatever for your camera to go through in the back that's pretty much all I can say about my light lighting and technical and camera setup obviously this is kind of a more professional setup than you know like a lot of people won't have space to do this that's one of the main reasons that I actually moved into this place is because I had place for my own like proper studio. I really want my videos to look very professional. Like I am so glad that I have this set up now. It's pretty much perfect what I need it for. And um, the only thing I'm still thinking about is buying a new lens, but you know, I think right now, like the clarity of the picture is pretty good. Yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I really wish that more of YouTubers would kind of share their lighting secrets. Cause I, I feel like a lot of people are very secretive about it and, and just don't want to share, I guess their own information that they've learned. And I find that, I find that kind of sad to be honest because um, you know we're all here to learn from each other so that's my setup and I hope that was helpful to you guys if you had any other questions put them in the comments and also let me know if you do want to see an updated makeup collection so I can actually show you what's all in the drawers and everything because that would be another video in itself so thanks for watching guys and see you later